Hi folks, co-tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video, we have seen how map and zip functions work in transformations and in this video, we will continue with the remaining ones that is associate, flatten and string presentation. So let's get into a demo. The next part is associate function. As the name indicates, it helps you to associate something with a element in the collection. And you can set the rule how you want to associate that. What do I mean by that? I will utilize this people list, which is a list of person here to demonstrate this. What I will create is something called as associated list and people dot associate. This is the time to set the association so i will take the it part and then pair it dot first name append it with it dot last name and then probably even append it with age and then the second element is the element itself and now if i just print this and for printing it i will use for each loop which we have checked in the previous video that is iteration over collections first second and here what i want to do is print ln first and then second and if i run this you will basically see the association that we have established to put it in simpler terms what you ended up doing is create a map out of a simple list where you set the rule how to generate a key for a value in the list there is even something like associate by that also pretty much does the same thing uh, what you can do is associate by it dot first name and it just makes your logic to become a little bit even more easy so this is what the association means the next part we'll have a look at is something called as flatten flatten basically allows you to put together a list by combining multiple lists what do i mean by that let's assume that i have these three different lists that is list of names one name two name three with a different set of names now let me create a list of list that is list of list how do i do that list of list of strings and let it contain list one list two list three and if i just print the list of list it is just going to print me these individual lists that are there in the whole list so it is a nested list and what i want to do is i want to basically put all these things into a one single list so what i can do is i will write something like flatten and that's it if you see now the result they have all been put together in one single list that is what flatten does and finally we will have a look at something called as string presentation what is a string presentation string presentation is how do you want to represent a list for example let me take the cities list as an example it contains some names here what i will do is print ln cities dot join to string and if i just run this it basically converts this whole thing into a string so you can see that here comma is used as a separator but if you want to change that you can do that join to string you can give a separator and if you want to give prefix starts here and postfix ends here and print it this is how it prints the whole list to put it in another way what join to string or string representation allows you to do is create a custom way to generate a string for a collection that you might have needless to say that there are various other flavors of join to string and join to functions which allow you to do the same thing with slight variations i suggest that you go through the official documentation for this purpose and with this we are going to end the discussion of transformations in collections that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye